a thing I made that required minerals. Alrighty, so now we're going to move a ship to sell. So I can fly an orca, but maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe I'll use a, a freighter. So eventually you'll want to buy a freighter so you can move stuff. Like if you're making battle cruisers and battleships, you don't want to move them one at a time. They'll take forever. Buy a freighter and move it that way. So we're going to move the orca in here. And then if you had other stuff, like maybe you built some battleships or something, you could put it in there. And then we're going to undock. And then I'm going to fly to Jitta. You can autopilot that if you like. You can autopilot with a freighter because no one's going to blow you up. It'll take them too long and it'll be too expensive for them to blow you up. There, there's my churn, and then I'm going to go to Jitta, right click, and go set destination. And now I can just hit autopilot if I like, but I'm going to get there the, the quickest way I can. And when I'm near Jitta, um, well, I'll, I'm, I'll be right back when I'm near Jitta. Alright, we're just uh, about to hit Jitta's system. And I want you to, to watch and see the number of people that are crowding around the station, or are crowding around the Stargate. Remember what I said about not flying shuttles with blueprints? I have blueprints on me, by the way, and I've got the Orca. So this is why. See all those little cans, those yellow circles? Those are, and that thing there, wreck of, there's an industrial wreck. So someone flew in there, an industrial, so like a, um, like a badger, had stuff in it. Uh, there's people that sit on the gates looking at in people's cargo, seeing if it's worth the suicide on them to blow their stuff up and take it. And in that case, it was. He had valuable stuff on him, so they blew him up quick enough before the police could get them and then and the police do get them the thing is then they take another character and they loot your wreck and there's not that isn't a police intervention if you attack someone in this game in high sec you will get blown up by cops if you steal from someone's container or someone's wreck the victim merely gets a kill right on you Meaning that they can attack you in high sec without intervention of the cops. The thing is, though, if you do attack them, then they can attack you for free. And so it's a mess, and I wouldn't bother. I've only done that once successfully, and then I stopped. Or it wasn't worthwhile. It wasn't worthwhile at all. Or, or thieves and stuff like that, it's not worthwhile to go out and look for them. Just move on. So I'm going to be uh, coming up to the, the station. Uh, they recently put in the game that autopilot used to only fly you through stargates, but now it'll fly you to stations as well. Uh, it'll still only let you fly up to 10k away and then you stop and then you slowly drift in, which is kind of a waste of time. But um, So I've got on me an orca to sell and I've got some blueprints here and I'll show you how to do both because they require the orca you sell on the market but the blueprint you can only sell on contract uh, so I'll show you how you do both let me get into the station here and I hopefully uh, when I was talking I I click dock and not uh, hopefully the autopilot's not going to take me 10k away that would be annoying I will find out though so there's tons of people sitting outside of you there Looks like we're good. Yeah, we're good. So it should dock right away. And they also scan... People will scan you when you come out of Jetta. All those people over there. They're scanning people coming out. And if you're holding valuable stuff, they'll blow you up right there and they'll take your stuff too. So um, keep that in mind. They won't blow you up with minerals. That's not a big deal. But don't be hauling... Uh, don't be hauling anything in a shuttle. And don't be hauling any 30-day plexes either. You get blown up for that too. Okay, so now we're in Jitta, the main market hub. And here, let me show you those. Uh, oh, what were they called? Uh, those uh, charges that I that had a crappy volume. I guess I could find it in here. Here, I'll get it. There, this one. Remember, this one had like 50 volume or something ridiculous. Here, let's see the volumes in Jetta. And the price. I think the price was cheaper out, out uh, in the boonies where I was 
I was at. So there's the price of Jetta here, 9400 Look at the volumes, though. There's the volume. Those are above 1000 so that's better. That's better. But you can do even better than that. That's probably fairly low still. You could get fairly, uh, like, let's say, uh, let's see. What about uh, heavy missile of some kind? Oops, missile. How about... Here, here's a module. Heavy missile launcher module. Those are the volumes. 5,000. So there you go. You could do stuff like that. As long so just make sure the volume is, is decent. Like at least 5,000 is good, I would say. Okay, so we're going to sell. I'm going to right click on this and go select all. Move it all over just so it doesn't take as long. I've got tons of blueprints sitting in here to sell, but I've just been lazy and haven't sold them yet. Okay, so let me sell uh, this Providence. Right click, create contract. Item exchange is what I want. I want it publicly available. And then I'm gonna go next. And I'm gonna go next again. And okay, now I, so now it wants uh, how much I wanna sell it for. I'm gonna, whoops. I'm going to go right click and go find in contracts and I'm going to have a look to see what it's going for. So here's the price, so let's just do Jitta only. Location Jitta only. Okay, 95, 100, 100, 100, okay. So I'm going to sell mine for... I don't always do the lowest. Maybe I'll do 98. I'll do 98. So I'm going to close that. I will receive 95 million. And then you can put a description if you want, but if it's a if it was like a a ship or something, then you could put in the ML and all that, but they can always look and and find out for themselves. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So 95 mil. Don't put in anything and I will pay because that means that upon accepting the contract, you will pay someone to accept your contract. You don't want that. So I will receive 95 mil. Uh, expiration is two weeks. That's the max. Go next. And there's some taxes involved. Sales tax, broker fee, deposit. There is a 1% deposit. You get it back though. Deposit you get back if you sell it. And then you go finish. And there it is, 95 million. It's up there. So if you went into contracts and went to my contract tab, you want outstanding status. That means stuff that's still out there get contracts and you'll see all your contracts there's the providence I just put up 95 mil okay now I'm gonna sell that orca so orcas go in the ship section here there's the orca there I'm gonna go sell I'm gonna go view the market go to market data let's look at the volumes by the way oh 50 well that's not bad for capital ships though this is, these are capital ships so the market is here six. So someone's got a uh, 670. Notice how someone dumped the price a bit. The going rate, so to speak, looks to be about 67.3, 673 mil, and about 0 .8, 6, 673.8 mil, right? But someone dumped the price. They put it up 3.8 less mil because they're trying to get rid of theirs quick. Now you don't necessarily have to undercut them. Because it's likely that their ship will sell quick and it'll be gone. So I'm going to put mine, I'm going to undercut the, the average price, this going right here, not this, uh, this dumping guy here. So I'm going to set mine to 673, 787, 889.95. And the one, three months, yes, done. There now, so if I go reload, and there's mine right there. There's that one. That's mine there. And remember, I got one still up for sale. Obviously, it's been undercut lots of times. So I'm going to go uh, modify, and I'm going to undercut myself, which is all right, because it's all my stuff. 673, 787, 889.94. So the total change is a loss of 8.7 mil, but whatever, nothing I can do about that. Broker fee, the minimum broker fee is 100 disk. Reload there. So there's mine there, 94, 95, those are mine. Okay, done. So that's, that is the end of the uh, market and industry. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. 
Uh, if you have any suggestions for further videos, let me know. I'm probably going to do a video on player owned stations because that's kind of a whole other thing. I probably will combine lab, lab use, and player owned stations. That'll probably be a separate video. Let me mention something else here I just thought of. When you get up to the point of millions of ISK and you don't want to labor anymore, you don't want to mine, and it's a waste of time like me, like I do, waste of time, and you buy all your stuff, rather than buying only from sell orders, let me show you that. Rather than buying from only sell orders like this up here, what you can do is you can save a bit of money, usually, by setting up a buy order, which means it consider it an offer. Uh, you want 134 mil tritanium, and you're willing to pay this price if you bring it to this station. You can set a range. There's the range here. So for example, this person set range of solar system. That means that if you bring tritanium to the solar system of Mitzelin and any station, then he will. Then you are able to sell to his order. These other ones that are station range only mean meaning that you have to dock at that station and you have to sell the item, so tritanium, in that station in order to get his buy order. Sometimes also people do region. Let's see if I can find a region one. Maybe not. There's two jumps, for example. So uh, each jump is a system. So he will. He will accept Tritanium from you two jumps away from the home system, which is S. S uh, okay, so another thing you can do is you can set up buy orders uh, for minerals. Now you're going to get the cheapest minerals near where people mine a lot. Um, systems vary in the number of asteroid belts that they have. The lower the security system of the the lower the security uh, rating of the system, the more valuable minerals, the more valuable ore will be in the system. So if you set up buy orders near where people mine a lot, you can get cheaper prices. Um, so you can do that as well. So how do you set up a buy order? So let's say I want to set up a buy order for nitrogen isotopes. I'm going to load up the market down at the bottom here place buy order then this is the same kind of deal you set the price you want the bid price so if you want to undercut these people then you could put it at 1070.01 right the quantity how much you want to buy I want to buy a hundred thousand you put that in minimum means that this only really matters if your range is more than a station Minimum means that you want the person to sell at least 50 at a time, for example, if you put 50 in here. Now, the reason that matters at all is if you have a range beyond station. Let's say I had a range of region to, to make the extreme case. If I had the range region, that means that as long as you're in the same region as the buy order, you can sell to my order. But let's say the minimum was one. That means that some random person could sell one of the item that I want in some station in the entire region, and I'd have to go and pick it up. If I if I did a range of uh, region, then if it's an item like this where there's lots of it, of the quantity, like versus for example a ship, then you'll want to set a minimum because you won't want to be running out to haul one of an item to go and pick it up because that's a pain and your assets window here will just be filled with tons of ones and twos and fives and fifties and that'd just be a nightmare so that's when you'd want to set a minimum but if your range is stationed because you don't want to go out and hunt for your orders and pick them all up then it, the minimum as will leave at one so you set your quantity duration amounts leave at three months range of station there's your broker fee you pay you don't pay tax on uh, buy orders, I don't think, I guess. Yeah, I guess not. Just a broker fee. Um, and then there's the total cost. Now, you don't pay that up front. You will pay 
a certain amount that goes to what's called escrow. Escrow is just a holding account in the game. It's not really uh, very, it's not a big deal. There is a skill you can get that lowers the amount of money you have to put up front. So this, this charge here. I don't know what it is if you're unskilled. It might be the whole thing, but I don't think so. Uh, but you can get an escrow. You can get a skill that lowers the amount of money you have to put up front. You have to, uh, yeah, put up front. I guess just like a, if you're buying a car or buying a house. Sometimes you have to put money down. Same thing is what this is. Okay, so that's for buy orders. So once you get to the point where you don't want to mine anymore because you're rich enough, make buy orders. Like, for example, I've got a buy order here. So there's some titanium here to pick up. There's 23, uh, tw almost 24 mil titanium there to pick up. And then once the buy orders are gone, set them up again. Check the prices of your buy orders once in a while because sometimes the, the market might fluctuate and your buy order price might be set too low. So no one's going to no one's gonna buy into it anymore. So you want to adjust it and just go and pick it up with your freighter. And that's a, a less taxing on your time way of getting minerals or you can buy it just off the market. Uh, so once you get rich enough, you can do that instead of mining it yourself or missioning, right? So that's the ideal. Eventually you'll wanna only be signing into EVE maybe once or twice a week <laughs> and be making all kinds of money still because you've got stuff running. You've got industry jobs running or lab slots running and you can sign in when they're done. So yeah, so leave some comments and let me know what you think.